You guys are lunatics and you wear it proudly. And I'm going to tell you that we've got an article up here. Look, I'm, I'm going to smile when I say this, but this guy believes that Luna Classic is going to break out to $48. I'm going to show you this and we're going to talk about it. First, I'm going to tell you, I, I'm not sure exactly how close to $48 we can get. That seems to be quite a stretch, but that's going to be based upon the number of burns, the implementation of said burns, and how we can get USTC back to a repeg status. So if you like this type of content, make sure to like button and subscribe to the channel. Let's kick it off. Okay, first the article, and let's really kind of dig in here. The main moving factor of the Lunacrassic price over the past couple of years has been the possibility of one day burning a large chunk of the huge supply, returning Lunk to over $100. Despite the turbulent past, Lunk Army continues to maintain uh, commitment to reviving the tokens, uh, mainly through increasing token burns and network upgrades. Uh, the price right now, trading at 408672. Now, you guys might know it's already pumped up to 409 as of right now. So it's continuing a, a surge. And I told you guys, uh, and I explained to you that there would be a surge and a continuation of that surge that we do have a spot. I'm going to show you that level in just a moment, but first we're going to finish this. Now, the indicators here suggest a bullish sentiment for the lunk price in the market at present, and that is true. Now, let's skip down. Now, there's the reasons that they're going to give you. The active and sizable community forcing the token upward. The development team behind Luna Classic has been hard at work on network upgrades, which by the way, we just introduced to RAD 3.1.6, upgrading the network. The price typically trends with the greater cryptocurrency market and uh, the incentivized staking, which by the way, we're at an all time record in staking, which means that there are people here who for at least 21 days will not be selling uh, because that's the unstaking process. Now, uh, there are some questions as to why it might dump, and that, of course, means that the overall and broader market, we won't get too deeply into it, but the overall market could just swallow up a lot of capital in the market. When Bitcoin rips and Bitcoin will rip, then people will move their money from Luna Classic over into Bitcoin because they want to ride the wave, and the money most likely will come back, but we don't know that to be the case, uh, if you if you will, if we're trading at four zeros nine and Bitcoin starts to rip, then people will 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 exit Luna Classic in order to get in on the pump. And if Bitcoin runs up to seven, let's say seventy five thousand or ninety thousand, something like that, just has a, a an incredible move. Those people will have more money and they will come back in. But in the meantime, if if let's just say Terra Luna Classic starts to dip from nine down to around 85, that creates a buy opportunity and new buyers will step in so that when the old buyers come back in and they start to relayer themselves with more capital, then the price pumps even higher. That's the way altcoin season works. So that's what we're looking for uh, to happen there in case that does happen. So bear in mind, by the way, because Bitcoin is a quote unquote rising tide that lifts all boats, people are more apt to step in quickly and keep that price closer to that nine range. So that dip would be a tiny dip and we may not even experience it down to that 85. It just becomes an attractive offer as people are selling out and immediately buying back in and new buyers step in. So you might, might not even see a price dip, but here it is. Um, Lunk price shows a strong potential for a long-term breakout to four, uh, three zeros 20 and a significant upside of three zeros 65 could follow and that would put us at somewhere near about a $4 billion market cap, which seems pretty reasonable. The neckline resistance is clearly marked around three zeros 20, and that means that there could be an opportunity here. Now, here is the situation. Most recent proposal to burn 46 million USTC and 729 million USTC, all of those big burns that were happening over there are being talked about and they're starting to consider what would happen there. And remember, there's 275 billion Luna Classic. The Lunk Army expects that over 1 billion USTC and 275 billion Lunk could be burned to the Chapter 11 bankruptcy proceedings expected to be completed by October 30th. We're at October, October 5th right now. So listen, I'm telling you right now, it is my opinion, and I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not qualified to give you financial advice, but I'm qualified to tell you that what I see over here is the potential for an enormous resurge in interest to Luna Classic. Considering the number of variables, the most optimistic scenario suggests that the Lunk price could grow to at least three zeros seventy-five in twenty twenty-five, with a potential to surge back to forty-eight dollars if a huge chunk of supply is burnt at once. So now 
what we're talking about right here is what would it take to get the price to $48? Well, and I'll be honest with you, I don't think there's a path forward for that. We would have to reduce the supply. And let's go look right here at the remaining supply right here. Uh, the circulating is 5.7 trillion. If we had a shot at getting to that level, we would have to literally burn almost 6 trillion tokens. We would have to get 6 trillion tokens removed from circulation before we even talked about a repeg, which would continue to burn. And I do want to stress that once we, we do that repeg, um, and when the repeg was done before, in 16 months, Luna Classic's volume and, and, and price from 1 billion tokens went down to 343 million tokens at the time of the, the, the collapse. So that's 66% of the market supply in a very, very short period of time. So I just want you to consider that, you know, if we were able to expose a way to start to really burn off significant amount of supply through whatever mechanism, and I mean burn, and I mean get rid of, I don't mean just reduce the supply for people. Because if we reduce the supply, we reduce the number of tokens that you have. And it's just not going to, that's not going to work, right? So we have to figure out how do we get this 5 trillion out for something like that to happen. And I don't know the answer to that. So while we talk about that, remember price action is down a little bit, but the market continues to surge a little bit. So let's talk about, and this, by the way, if we're talking about that 75, that would be about a 10 X from where we are right now, getting into that range, which is why I said we would be close to about a $4 billion market cap, $5 billion market cap, something like that. So that's where that comes from. And, and by the way, it's not, it's, it's not pie in the sky to think that that's going to happen to Luna Classic. That's probably almost written in stone at this point. We'll see at least a 10x off of it. But what I really think is going to happen is I think, I think we're going to find a way to reduce a little bit more of the supply than we currently think. And, and by the way, what we need to do is reduce that circulating supply. That's the important part right now. And then find a way in the total supply to really start to burn that off so that it cannot be re-entered back into circulation. So that's really where all of this burn process and work is coming in. But let's check price right now and let's talk about why I'm right. Okay. So currently trading at 89. Uh, well, you know what? It dipped down just a little bit in the last little while. Uh, we had ripped all the way up to 9,000, just a few short just a little while ago, we were at the top of this range here at 9,000. So um, we, we've had a dump in the last, uh, what are we talking about here? 40 minutes. Uh, we've had this dump back down as the market starts to correct down just a little bit. Uh, it's weekend, so there's not going to be a whole lot of huge volume or anything like that. Perfect opportunity for bears to step in and try to dunk on price action, et cetera, et cetera. But there's generally a positive sentiment going on with Luna Classic. So what do I think is going to happen? Well, let's zoom back out to the daily. From now until November 1st, if you make a deposit of $1,000 at Cryptonomy.Finance, you will get a random bonus of between fifty dollars and $5,000. Also, guys, if you have anything that you don't understand about cryptonomy, then I do special research articles on this platform. So if you are interested, you can come check them out. And if you have a question about any of these projects, then there is an opportunity here for you to learn about some of the cryptocurrencies, especially Aerodrome or Carve or something like that. You know, I've got a lot of staking going on right here. I've got Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Tether all coming up to be unstaked very, very shortly. So join me in this. Reap the rewards like I'm reaping. And folks, don't forget, not only is Cryptonomy a robust staking platform, but it's also a venture fund. So if you want to apply, you can do that in the research section. Apply today. And let's revisit what I've been saying this entire time. What I think is going to happen right now is we've wicked down here and we've created this parallel channel and that parallel channel seems to be holding. Now we've wicked up one, two, three times. So it's, it's hard to say that we're going to do it one more time. What we need to look at is the possibility that we could, by the way, uh, come up into this range right here and we might stop as we drop that zero, okay? But I don't think so because that last surge took us almost to three zeros 11. So I think that we're gonna continue that uptrend as the market continues an uptrend if the market does continue that uptrend. So uh, I do think we come up in this range right here uh, around 11.1, something like that. Then I think we reject back down. We come back down into this range at 9,000. And by the way, when I zoom out here and I start to look at you know volume nodes, uh, this is why when you come out here and you do this, then you can see over here on the left, this is one of the bigger volume nodes 
in this range, which is why I'm telling you I think it's going to go from this volume node back to this volume node as a retracement. And if you were look at it, looking at it on a fib, just in case that were to play out, then it would stand to reason that we're going to get maybe about 92 maybe um, as we get into that golden zone right there and then we bounce off of that if you will so ultimately what i think is we're going to three zeros 1100 pretty soon uh with an impulse move and by the way that's the minimum i don't uh, there, there's a maximum out here where you can really start to zoom out just a little bit and look at where we could possibly go and then when you look at it from a, and this is this is important we're talking about a volume node sort of thing here okay um the volume node really kind of comes all the way up to about 12 so three zero is 12. that's not a big difference between 11 right but we at some point are going to have to retest the top of this range here which is at three zeros two so why not have an impulse move that plays out remember three times is normally what we get here before we have that breakout so one two we haven't had that third rip yet that takes us up into this range so we could be looking at that and by the way that would still be around a billion market cap that's just getting started that's just like we're not even at that range yet so positive sentiment for luna classic all of the things that are you know possible are are, are kind of you know in in people's minds right now uh a week after october 30th after we see a significant amount of these burns in my opinion i think that's going to happen um after we see that significant amount of burn if that were to happen then uh, i think people are going to get really excited because a couple days after that binance is going to do more burns and by the way binance volume has been up so far so we're going to burn more than just 1.1 billion uh maybe more like 1.4 1.5 so all of that happening in in unison at one single time it, and that's not even considering volume may go out of its mind for a little while as the market really starts to rally for october for october and, and up november whatever you want to call november but just to, for, to clarify, there is some real possibility of an enormous breakout, an enormous burn, an enormous surge. So um, keep that in mind and then think, you know, we could get up here into this three zeros two range. Uh, we would come back down, by the way, that's not a breakout area. That's just a retest. You see, every time we've done that, we've come back down here strong. We've gone up there and we've come back down here strong. We had three tests down here before we broke out. We broke out sideways from this little trend line right here. So now we're in a, a better place. It's time for that breakout. Doesn't mean that we won't have like retests or anything like that, but there is the possibility that uh you know the, the breakout only goes up into that range for right now also I'm telling you right now that three zeros uh 32 number up here could be in play and ultimately this could be in play right here this is going to depend on how this looks when we talk about the repeg that first proposal comes seven days after the bankruptcy date remember that that's going to be the proposal if it looks really good if it looks like something that's going to really send this then remember the early investors the people who know they're going to get in here and they're going to pump both the liquidity and the market cap of luna classic so just take that for what you will it's coming now let's go on and move to USTC real quick uh, you can see here the price is moving up volume still coming down because it's the weekend there's not really a whole lot to talk about other than oh wow uh cat with hat just burned another million the total burn of cat with hat so far 20 billion on the lunk burn tracker now if you haven't already lunk metrics has put up a uh, tracker for cat with hat the reason for that is because if you don't know then you're going to learn something today, baby. Uh, Cat with Hat, the uh, Terraport is supporting Cat with Hat right now with a lot of burns. There might even be some buybacks. There might be some. Look, here's what I'm going to tell you. You owe it to yourself if you are a Luna Classic fan to hold a little of this with Hat uh, as they work through this process. They've, they've just burned 20% of the total supply. With that being the case, Coin Hall shows that Cat with Hat's currently trading. Now I put $75 in here. It's at 66 right now. Dipped just a little bit from the time that I bought it. Um, but as we continue to get these burns, as we continue to get these notices, then I think that the price is going to start to peak because as you can see right here, a lot of these prices, except Jupiter, Jupiter came down quite a bit here. It was about 2x from where it is right now, but it's still way up from the 50 that I started with. But each one of these, over 50, uh, I, you know, I've got what, seven? 
eight, nine, I've got nine, ten of these tokens, and six of them are well over $50. One of them's at $50. So look, there is a community here and it will continue to pump and it will continue to um, uh, manifest itself, if you will. So you should, in my opinion, have yourself a little bit of this because something like this probably going to happen again. Now, if you reduce the supply by another 20 billion, then you're talking about a remaining supply of 80 billion, which means 25%, which means an immediate 25% pump to the price of cat with hat. Guys, this thing could 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 X at a moment's notice. All it takes is just a little bit of you, the investor coming in, and a little bit of exposure and boom, this thing is out of control. So I would be looking at this if I were you and saying, you know what, I gotta have a little bag and to get a little bag of it, you come over here to terraport.finance and that's where you get it. Now on to terraport.finance, you know that there's um, uh, that they're repaying the, the people when there was a hack and there was a hack about a year ago and there's a settlement coming out for that right now. Uh, does not, by the way, if you accept this settlement does not prevent your legal recourse if the person who does it is caught. They do know, look, I, I, I can't say too much about that, but I think they know who it is. I think they, they've kind of figured it out and they are about to do something about it, whether that person or that entity um, has the, the funding or, the, or a way to uh, reclaim, we'll see. But, but I do think something big is coming, which is why they mentioned it in their comments about a potential lawsuit. That does not mean that you didn't lose. So you can still be part of that lawsuit when it comes, if it comes. So um, mean, meantime, Get yourself some Terra because of the 379 people who were investors who were affected, 278 have already agreed to a linear vesting schedule, which means that the market will not be flooded with Terra Classic or with Terra tokens. So you can rest assured that Terra is going to be safe and secure for you to hodl for uh, a long period of time. Fantastic, right? And then uh, I think another almost 100 people, uh, they're, they're getting uh, 50% now and then 50% vested and then the other people are just going to be open and I think that's like three people and it's not huge wallets by the way so uh, Terra this would be one of those things where you want to have yourself a bag of Terra because at some point this thing probably going to take off as well and if you are not already go to Terra Casino and start doing some risk-based gaming because god doggy uh, the possibility exists that you could win XRP do you like XRP if you're an XRP fan or a Lunk fan you could be winning some of these tokens if you just come over here and play sports-based wagering I'm a Louisville Cardinals fan I'm a Chicago Bears fan if you want to do some risk-based gaming over here that's your opportunity uh, PvP poker Pennywise uh, the fizz fizzy penny slots uh, there's 2 million euros being given away by Terra Casino in conjunction with the World Poker League all the way up to December 22nd um, and there were some giveaways that already happened plus Plus, you can burn a lot of different tokens, and that would be a fantastic thing. So there we have it. I didn't give you some of the other updates because there really isn't anything out there to, to talk too much about. Um, and you guys should know by now I'm pretty passionate about Luna Classic. So um, that's what I got for you today. Uh, $48 Luna Classic. Do you think that's going to happen? Uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, and remember, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right.